back to another episode of, wait, it's no longer SOP. Now, I know you guys are gonna have a lot of questions. I know you guys are gonna be wondering where the hell have we been and why is there a new name to the channel? Now, all of that's gonna be answered. Unfortunately, it's not gonna be answered in this video. Today's video is gonna be literally us or me going to a fabulous Ford's meet and I'm gonna go ahead and link up with as many people as I possibly can. Uh, I more than likely will not get any fun runs in, but I wanna do my best. Uh, there's a lot of people coming down from up north. For those of you that don't know, I'm from California. So a lot of cool cars are gonna be there. I know it's gonna be ridiculously hot, so I'm gonna try to keep everything to a minimum and hopefully there isn't a lot of loud music. And if there is, then don't worry. I'll go ahead and make sure that you guys have the proper clips to enjoy this video. But as of right now, we're running a little late and I gotta go meet up with the guys. So let's do this. <laughs> He's like, I've seen motherfuckers drop soap. I seen on purpose. <laughs> Just like that, boys, we made it to the show. The one thing that I do want to tell you guys is there is actually a lot of music playing in the background, so I don't think I'm going to be getting a lot of vlogging. I mean, think about it. Who really wants to be vlogging on a car show? You're more than likely going to be looking at everything. If anything, I'm probably going to be talking more shit than admiring. Uh, but uh, I did see some cars that I actually want to show you guys. There is some that are actually obnoxious and sick. And then there's other ones that are just, you know, not up to spec. But we're not going to be talking about those today. For the most part, we're going to be hanging out with everyone that we see. And then afterwards is where the real party starts. We're going to be hanging out with other people. We're going to try to get some fun runs in. And for the most part, we're going to go ahead and uh, eat. Because uh, after this show and this heat, I know you can't feel it, but you see my face is really, really highlighted. I'm about to start sweating. As you guys know, the Mach 1 is not here. And I drove a different car. I haven't even showed you guys which one I drove, but I'll show you guys. It's actually one that you guys have seen before. Another thing that I want to let you know is that Eddie's here, you know? Yo. You know, he's, he's going to be doing his own little vlogging and everything like that as well. But right now, since they're the cool guys, they're going to go ahead and get their little goodie bags. And I'm just going to stand here on the sidelines. No biggie. It is what it is. Well, let me see what they gave you. What? Did they say? Waterless. That's it? Yeah, waterless. Wash and wax. I've never used it, but I'm sure it's good. Oh, and I got a pin. Got me a pin. He got himself a pin, ladies and gentlemen. Are you gonna be trading that at Disneyland too? <laughs> Lightning, boys. Yo, this is actually dope as fuck. Check this out. Hold on. Check this one out. <laughs> That's actually the sickest thing I've seen today. Check this out. <laughs> Most people do the GT500 swaps, but as you can see, Roush. You don't see that that often, which is pretty cool. And especially the exterior, that's super sick. You normally see anything that normally has a supercharger or is swapped like that. The truck is lowered because they use it for racing purposes or at least try to give it that look. The fact that he has it lifted lets me know that that man has money. Now there's two things that I want you guys to see and notice. Normally, you don't see that big ass whipple, especially on the Lightning. Most people like to keep them stock, which is true. Most people, if they do modify them, they port the, uh, the original one and they pretty much can have their fun with that. But the fact that they went ahead and actually swapped it, it's pretty dope. And the second thing I actually wanted you to see, yeah, it doesn't say Ford anymore. There is something that I wanted to show you guys. Now, this vehicle that I'm showing you is the new GT500. And if you look closely, I'm not sure if you can see it, but you got a Brembo here and a Brembo there. Now, the funny thing about it is that this rear Brembo is literally the same size as most Mustangs in the front. So the fact that you see that and that should let you know that there's a reason for it, which means this girl's fast. So just to give you an idea, that is literally my whole forearm. 
from top to bottom, from my bottom of my finger to my freaking end where my elbow is. That thing is huge. But the GT500s are probably a dream car. And a Cobra, anything Cobra related is actually a dream car. But the fact that the new ones are just so freaking fast, pretty much out of factory, makes me want them even more. But by the time I can actually afford one, the price will be going higher and higher. So it's just a dream right now. Again, another classic with a pro charger. Well, with a supercharger. This thing is sick, bro. Especially in the Nardo. It looks like he has some three-piece wheels, which is sick. As you see. Now, I wonder if it's just for show or if he actually parties. Because if he parties, I would love to see that shit out on the street. That would be sick. And now, there is one Mustang in particular that I am looking for. And it's Drew's Mustang. He has a brand new 2020 GT500 when it's 2022. But either way, he has it and he wide-bodied it. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I believe his is the first wide-bodied GT500 out on the market. So when I see that, we're for sure gonna look at it. And what would you guys think if I'm on the Mach 1, I slap one of these? Honestly, I don't think it's big enough. Yeah, I don't think it's big enough for the Mach 1. It's, it's too small for me. Now I'm about to show you guys something that you don't see every day. That's right. There's literally a hole in the door of the Bronco. That's actually pretty sick. Now imagine if a Mustang had that. Talk about weight reduction, boys. Talk about weight reduction. forward to seeing at the show and it's the GT500 that I was talking about earlier it's the first wide-body GT500 at least to my knowledge and I think on the market it's a Singala kit and it belongs to my boy Drew that thing is wide and it's sick but anyway with that music in the background it's gonna make things a lot harder for me to go ahead and talk and uh, not get copyrighted but as you guys can see right there that's his Instagram go ahead and give him a follow Man, that thing is so sick. As I'm doing the montages, hi. Uh, pulls up. So after the people that just said hi, uh, I'm gonna throw their Instagram down right here. Go ahead, dude, go give her a follow. She's so sick. I love her, she's awesome. Okay, so while I was talking to them, Eddie and uh, his buddy left me, and that kind of hurt my feelings. So I'm gonna go find them, and I'm gonna tell them they're a bunch of assholes, because they really are a bunch of assholes. And right now, there's no music playing. I'm taking advantage. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this Mach 1 right here. Post, with a uh, supercharger that thing is so sick bro i honestly wish i had a whip one but you know i got a pro charger and i don't want to spend the fucking extra five ten grand on the whole ass kit but that thing is so sick you sir and then next week you left me you too you but my mad i'm more mad at him right now <laughs> you guys left me i was over there like oh my god yeah and then i look back and nobody's there yeah i like these wheels i like that and uh, he made now, see, now I'm getting ideas and I don't want to get ideas because I already have a wheel set up and I want to give me some welds and let's not talk about it. But oh, look at, look at, look at, you got, you got yourself a little, look at. <laughs> That's probably like the only action we're going to get today, boys. I don't think they're doing any racing here today. Damn, that thing is so sick. Anyway, I can't get over the Mach 1s. My Mach 1s at home. It's out there being a lame under the cover. Oh, man, for those of you that are tuning in for the first time, this is pretty much what my supercharger looks like. It's, it's air to water, has all the stuff. So this is what it looks like when it's running and clean. Now, obviously, I have the Mach 1, so you really don't see all of that. You see my little shaker. But this is essentially what mine looks like. Now, this is new to me. I'm assuming the blowout. Yeah, so I have no idea. I'm actually going to take a picture of that because that looks pretty cool. See, all this stuff is sick. I'm going to have to do all that to mine because mine looking a little chop out right now. That's pretty sick too. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Does he have a power steering delete? No, it's down there. That's pretty sick, bro. 
I like this. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Yeah, we had the same setup, which is always nice to see. Especially when you see someone else with it and you get to get kind of ideas and everything like that. That's always nice, it's always cool. Murdered out, black out, everything. That's the way to go, boys. I'm just saying. All right, boys. And if there's any ladies in here, this is some fast boy shit. Twin turbo Cobra. Bro, just, just look at that. Look at how sexy that is. You got the twin turbos, obviously. And then he obviously has a whole different setup. Now, this is literally the definition of a clean race car right here. Uh, look, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the interior as well. You guys look at the shifter. Look at that. Super sick, super clean. Surprisingly, no roll cage and not gutted in the rear, which is dope. But look at, the, look at them. Big boys right there. Uh, the only reason why I'm very familiar with this one right here in particular is because it went a little viral on uh, Instagram. And, bro, that's the video that did it for me. Give him a follow. Super sick. I'll see if I can add his Instagram on here if I can find it. But as of right now, respect to that build. All right, fellas. I want you guys to answer a question. Out of all the cars here, which one's your favorite? The Mustang. Oh, you're a dick. That was great. That was great. <laughs> that was sick, too. And it's not, it's not often that you see this color. She, oh, he got CCWs in the front and the rear. Look at it. Whew. Damn. That's what you call a fast boy. Wow. Wow. She. <laughs> We're gonna get seats, boys. We're gonna get seats. That's nice. He's the only smart one. He brought an umbrella. Today. It's not as hot as uh, last year. Last year was ridiculously hot. Right now it's just a little bit warmer, but I have a black shirt. My dumb ass didn't learn from the last time. There isn't a lot of shade, as you guys can see, where the umbrella is pretty much the most shade that we have. And uh, we pretty much went through every aisle. I uh, didn't want to show you guys all the cars because for the most part, they all get everything out of the same catalog. So once we get out of here, more than likely gonna go get something to eat because we are starving and we might get some drinks. And who knows, I might give you guys some fun runs, man. That's literally what I want, but nowadays, Nobody races, nobody wants to do anything. Everybody just builds their car to look cool, but nobody wants to run it. So we'll see. You know, keep in mind, it's not my car. And I haven't even showed you guys, but I'll show you guys in a minute. All right, fellas, as you guys can see, look, if you look around, everyone is starting to get in their cars and get ready to leave. And we're ready to freaking go munch some micheladas. I don't know if this guy's gonna join me right here. I don't know if he's gonna join me to go get a michelada. I don't know if he is, bro. I don't know. Look, you want? Look, you see, he has. He's the only one that I know that has this type of cobra. It's crazy. Crazy. Sickest cobra on the market right now. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Don't let that GT fool you, bro. It's a cobra. Deep down inside somewhere, but it is cobra. <laughs> Imagine, I'm just kidding guys, it's all awesome. I'm know. just kidding, I'm just kidding. But anyway, we're about to roll out right now because it is... It's hot. They said we couldn't leave until 3. Right now it is currently... 2.23 and all the cars are starting to line up because everyone is trying to get out of here. And we're all trying to go eat. And we're all trying to go get a little tipsy. Nothing too crazy. Let's see if I can get you guys some fun runs. 